the five elements in music and development. The quality heard in musical expression can be analyzed and connected to emotions, thought patterns, and clogs in the body. The more spontaneously the person is revealing her feelings while playing an instrument, singing, or dancing, the easier it is to decipher the quality in the expression. The more directly she reveals what she is really feeling without following preconceived concepts, the better. Using your understanding of subtle anatomy, you can discover to link emotions and their associated feelings to particular body areas. These areas are linked to a significant chakra, energy center. Each of the five lower chakras has a strong connection to one of the five aspects, earth, water, fire, air, and area. These aspects are real qualities one can hear in musical expression. You can quite quickly discover whether someone has actually got fire, is lacking earth contact, or whether she is up in the air if there is a circulation in her expression or whether her music does not have area. The quality of each component can be traced down to elaborate information, each making good sense when put into a psychoenergetic context. The sensation of sand, for example, is extremely various from the feeling of rock though both come from the aspect earth. The analysis can be made similarly to translating symbols in a dream. Any interpretation of a quality in musical expression is not based exclusively on intellectual analysis but is rather based upon feelings. It is basically a right brain activity. The intelligence by itself cannot perform this job. It feels at a loss. The phenomena comprising the specific qualitative aspect in musical expression have been attracting my attention for a long time now. I have actually endeavored to discover ways to observe, recognize, and comprehend them better. I have listened to a great deal of non-melodic music that can be called soundscapes or sound paintings. This kind of music seems to lend itself more easily to a qualitative method to spontaneous expression. The more you listen, the more you can view methods of discerning distinctions in quality. What is such discernment really based on, since there is often no melody, no tonality, no rhythm in these soundscapes? You can train yourself to spot the distinctions, for example, by listening to apparently extremely comparable music or sounds such as various artists playing the didgeridoo or singing bowls. A singing bowl is struck now and then without any apparent musical criteria to evaluate the artist's abilities, yet after just a few seconds of listening to singing bowls played by various artists, you can experience rather different sensations. It is likewise very informing to listen to the exact same composition played by different artists. At some point ago in 1981 I taped my very first album of meditative music. I had the opportunity to use an outstanding Steinway grand piano in lovely surroundings. I attempted to record the atmospheres of seven different trees with improvised playing. Among the trees were an oak, a pine, a birch, and a beech. I was amazed by each one's special shape and the noticeably various feelings every one caused. To play each tree's environment realistically was obviously not possible. I enjoyed myself while playing the tree's music and did not think nor evaluate much. At some point later I played the taping to some school kids of possibly 8 years of age. 
the teacher has to draw their impressions spontaneously while listening to the music for two of the various trees. They were not told which piece of music represented which tree. The outcomes of their work were very good. They might draw quite plainly the distinctions between the music for the birch and for the oak. When I teach groups I frequently let someone improvise, while the others attempt to understand the quality of what is being played by drawing. I provide them a specific task such as playing a mountain, a snow-covered plain, or a large slow-moving river, a job that can seem insurmountable at. It is extremely interesting to see, and I have done this now for some 25 years, how much accurate info they can get by simply listening with their best brain while revealing it through types and colors on paper. When offering the artist a task, I would whisper it to him or offer it on a piece of paper, so that the others would not know what he was going to play. Often I ask people just to improvise, to reveal how they feel at that really moment. Utilizing metaphors, images and symbols enables us to express an overall photo consisting of numerous dimensions that are mostly unidentified to the intellect. Symbols and metaphors are an extremely focused and advanced type of transmission of information. With their aid we can somewhat grasp the mystical, the magic at work. The system of the five components has been used over centuries, if not centuries in various parts of the world. Those who established these systems understood that anything they could express with the aid of the five elements was not the phenomenon itself but just the finger pointing at the moon. Words can have a number of layers of significance. They nonetheless have actually been utilized and misused by our focus on the intellect. The five component system utilizes words in a much more poetic way. In order to understand the deeper aspects of the natural world and humanity mankind has established a number of models. Anthropomorphic medication has investigated the connections in between the planets and our physical organs. The North American natives have developed an extremely intricate medication wheel, utilizing the four instructions East, West, North and South, often complemented by Daddy Sky and Mother Earth. Healing customs in Tibet and India use our first four components including, like Paracelsus, the fifth element area. The Chinese industrialized thousands of years ago their yin and yang system which leads to what they call the five stages of transformation wood, fire, earth, metal and water, a cornerstone of traditional Chinese medicine. These five stages are typically wrongly called five components. The Chinese principle though is extremely different from the five aspects system utilized in ancient Greece, Tibet, India, and Europe. This latter system are very much part of Western culture. It appears in astrological horoscopes where each sign of the zodiac is attributed to among the four components earth, water, fire, and air. The number of planets appearing in any element can give you an indication about the excess or absence of a particular element in your makeup. Considering that 1980, I have been developing this approach in my work as a music therapist with a fantastic range of individuals consisting of people with unique requirements, prisoners, kids and adults who pertain to my training programs in various nations. I also use this technique in my work as an artist, as a music teacher, and as an author. I began to develop it while following Bob Moore's teachings which brought about my understanding of energy chakras aspects, 
feelings and linked thought patterns. I have delighted in courses from the anthropomorphic custom as well as from Indian, Chinese and Tibetan traditions.